Hi YouTube! Today's video is on a bag that I have been loving a lot lately. You've seen it on Instagram. It's the Michael Kors Hamilton Traveler. The size is large and it's with silver hardware. I bought this bag in December and I really do like it. You can obviously see that it's Birkin inspired. So start with the dimensions. At the bottom the length is 12 up at the top it widens to about 15 and a half. The height is 10. The depth at the bottom is six and a half. Up at the top it, it's about two and a half. The straps are rolled leather. The strap drop is about four inches. It comes with a long shoulder strap which is detachable. The width of the strap is about 11 sixteenths. The strap drop on this one is anywhere from 18 on the shortest setting to 20 on the longest setting. The handles are articulating, in other words, they do fall and get out of the way when you're carrying it with a long strap. That's one of the things I do like. I don't like the bags that stand up like this when you're carrying it with a long shoulder strap, so this do get out of the way, which is a nice feature. It comes with a um, decorative lock, the Michael Kors lock, and it does come with a leather clochet with a key. And this is a functioning lock, and I will show you that um, you can undo this, and then these straps do come undone, like the Birkin. However, there's one feature on this one that's unlike the Birkin, for sure. So let me show you a few close-ups. It does have glazing on all of the edges of the leather. The hardware is silver, and it is very substantial, very heavy. It's got a zip top and the zipper pull is metal with Michael Kors on it and it is a substantial uh, zipper pull. It's one of the things I do like about it. When you want the security of this bag you can zip it closed and I'll show you when you open it. These leather flaps do fold completely out of the way. So let me give you some close-ups. It's made of a smooth leather. And as I said, the edges are all glazed and all very well done, you could see including the strap. Silver hardware and the edge is unblazed on this side, Michael Kors. The lock is a functioning lock and you can remove it. I still have the protective film on mine to keep it um, scratch free as much as I can. It does unflap, but as you'll see on the second flap, leather flap, there's no um, silver hardware on that. So you could give it the look of uh, the Birkin by leaving it undone. I normally carry it with a lock on it just like this. The key. close-up of the zipper pull. Let me show you the inside. As I said, you'll notice that the leather fold, the leather collar is fold completely flat, so when you've got it open and unzipped, it's completely out of the way. Um, you can see the Michael Kors lining. It does come with a key keeper. On this side, there is a large patch pocket a smaller patch pocket and a large zip pocket. The zip pocket is eight by five and a half. You can fit a zippy wallet in there and I'll show you that in a minute. On the other side, two patch pockets that are four by five and a half and you can fit your iPhone 6 in there. Let me show you with items inside. These are the items that I um, will normally carry with the exception of the iPad mini. I don't normally carry that but I'm going to show you what it looks like inside and I'll also show you the zippy wallet. Here's the items inside. The iPad, the pochette accessoire, eyeglass case, passport case, mini pochette, and a compact wallet, iPhone, and a key clay. And let me show you the zippy wallet will fit in the zip pocket. So full-size zippy wallet will fit in the zip compartment and you can zip it up. Let me show you mod shots. I'm 5'4". Handheld. Mm -hmm. 
in the crook of the arm. And it's easy to get items out when it's in the crook of your arm, no problem. This is long shoulder, it's set on the longest setting. And cross body. It's a little short for my taste for cross body, but it works. I'm 5'4. Let me show you um, with the straps open, kind of a la the Birkin look, what it would look like. Um, I got this bag at Macy's, I think in December, and um, it came with, you know, the Michael Kors card, basically just tells you about the leather, and the tag, $3.98's the retail price, I got it on sale, friends and family, plus I got an additional discount, so I got a pretty good deal on this, um, you can see it says, Hamilton Traveler Large, in color is black. The dust bag is a kind of sateen, white sateen with silver branding. Empty this bag weighs two pounds, right at two pounds, so it's not bad. Once you start loading it up, it will make a difference, but significantly lighter than a Birkin would weigh, so. Very nice look. I was always interested in the Michael Kors Hamilton, but uh, the proportions were a little off for me. The large Hamilton was a little too north-south, and the smaller Hamilton was a little too east-west, so it never quite hit the mark, but I did like the look. So when they came out with the Hamilton Traveler, it's perfect. It's about the size of a Speedy 30 in size. I like the look. Uh, the hardware, like, as I said before, is it's significant. It's very weighty. I love the look of it. The detachable long strap. I like the fact that the zip folds out of the way if you want to just leave the bag open or if you want the security, you can zip the bag up. Overall, I'm really impressed with this bag and I probably would get another color in this. I like it so much. So far, it's held up pretty well. No significant scratches on it. Um, that's the advantage of, of black though. You could probably polish it out, but the smooth leather will scratch more than the Saffiano or any of the grain leathers. Michael Kors makes a lot of great, fantastic look for less. This is just an example of one of them, obviously Birkin inspired, but um, Birkin is not within the reality of most people. But if you like the look, then this definitely would work for most people. So that's my review. Thumbs up, subscribe, follow me on Instagram. Have a great week.